Welcome back to the Azure Enablement Show. This is the last part in our three episode series. And in today's episode, we'll be exploring more skilling resources for GitHub Copilot. Hi, I'm Aaron, and in this episode, we'll be taking a deeper dive into GitHub Copilot learning resources. As always, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below so we can get back to you. Smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to the Azure Enablement Show so you get notified of all of our latest episodes. Natalie, our AI skilling lead from Azure Marketing, she's back with us today so she can take us through these GitHub Copilot skilling resources. Yes, I am, Erin. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here and to talk about these different learning options we have for Copilot's integration with GitHub. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much, Natalie. Before we dive into today's topic, for anyone that has not already seen episode one and two of this series, I'd recommend checking it out. It gives a lot of great resources and overview about Copilot, GitHub Copilot, and all of the related learning resources. You can find links to those episodes in the description below. Mm -hmm. Natalie, thank you again for joining us today. What do you have in store? Thank you, Aaron. Today, I'm going to be walking our viewers through a quick little demo of one of our most popular learning paths for GitHub Copilot. This learning path is called GitHub Copilot Fundamentals, Understand the AI Pair Programmer. So let me pull this up here. As you can see, we've got our learning path here. We're going to be exploring the fundamentals of GitHub Copilot how it can improve productivity and how to implement it into your organization. With all this great content, you'll be able to get a deep understanding of the distinctions between GitHub Copilot for individuals, GitHub Copilot for business, and GitHub Copilot X. We're going to look at some GitHub Copilot for business use cases, including some real life examples, and you'll get some step-by-step -step instructions on enabling Copilot for individuals and for businesses. Incredible. Love this overview. It uh, feels like we're picking up right where we left off. Uh, yes. Yeah. So let's just dive into these learning paths. I agree. So this learning path is broken down into five modules. Let me show you what that looks like. We scroll down here. So we've got our introduction to GitHub Copilot right here at the start. Going through all these different modules, you're going to need a basic understanding of GitHub fundamentals. If you don't have that yet, we've got other learning paths that we can recommend as well to help you get that basic understanding before you jump in. Not a problem. So with our introduction to GitHub Copilot, we've got everything here about really getting a basic uh, view of your AI pair programmer and really diving into the main part of this module is diving into that setup, configure, and troubleshoot GitHub Copilot. It, this is incredible. I didn't even realize that Microsoft had kind of that end-to-end -end view of not only how to use a technology, but how to set up, configure, and get started with it. Um, and I know that we previously discussed prompting, but what about prompting for GitHub Copilot? Are there any skilling resources that are available for this after people have set up and configured their environment? Yes, the next part of this learning path, this module, Introduction to Prompt Engineering with GitHub Copilot. This is gonna be where the meat of that topic really comes in. You're gonna learn about creating effective prompts while mm -hmm. using GitHub Copilot so you can really enhance your development process. Got it. So this is very similar to kind of what we discussed in the last episode, making sure that your prompting is accurate and concise to leverage the full power of the technology and get the most out of it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And it's it's yeah. really like a, a new skill, a new language that we're having to learn with all this prompting. Got it. But, yeah, the next part that I want to show you here is our introduction to GitHub Copilot for business. In this module, we're going to be getting into a little bit more detail on what does GitHub Copilot for business mean, how it differs from GitHub Copilot for individuals, and we've got some great business use cases and customer stories. Let me just show you a little bit about what this looks like. We've got a lot of detail here. We've got some customers who are really using this technology and the success that they've seen with this uh, integration. No, this is great for, I think, anyone who is an individual developer or developers who are even a part of a larger organization and team that will be using GitHub Copilot. Um, what about the different programming languages that exist for Python, Java, and JavaScript? How does that fit into the GitHub Copilot framework? 
Yes, absolutely. We've got a module on that. And this is really about our using GitHub Copilot with JavaScript. Mm -hmm. We're going to get some in-depth exercises here about studying GitHub Copilot to work with Visual Studio Code. Let me just show you what that looks like. You can actually set up that environment and go through this exercise using code spaces. We've got everything here to really get that experience. And we also have another module here on Python 2. Let me pull that up here so I can show you. And it's the same thing. We've got a lot of exercises. We've got two exercises here and understanding how to use GitHub Copilot like the previous module on using Copilot JavaScript with Python. Mm -hmm. You're going to be learning about how this AI programmer helps you code with autocomplete style suggestions and helps you speed up more and improve your workflow. Wow, I didn't even realize that Microsoft had this level of depth out for some of their Copilot technologies and GitHub Copilot specifically. This learning path is incredible. And thank you for walking us through it today, Natalie. <laughs> That's my pleasure. And I hope you don't mind that my, my cat joined us for a few moments <laughs> for that, but she's a big fan of, of GitHub too. <laughs> No, I love that. And I feel like I learned something new with you every time we have a chance to chat. Um, so thank you again. And for our viewers, make sure you check out the description below so that you can find the links to today's learning path that Natalie walked us through and additional learning resources for GitHub Copilot. While you're there, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the Azure Enablement Show so you don't miss any of our future episodes. If there's any questions about today's topic, make sure to leave a comment in the section below so we can get back to you. And lastly, check out this link so that you can find any additional information that you might need to leverage the full power of Copilot with Microsoft. Thank you so much and until next time.